All right, so in this video, we are picking up from the naming of benzene compounds. So welcome back. All right, remember to subscribe. All right, so we are looking at now the reactions of benzene. Two of them, you will have to know the mechanism for. All right, the others are just equations. So the first one we are going to look at is the nitration of benzene. Now the mechanism for which benzene reacts is called electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's the aromatic benzene, it's the ring, or it an, it's an aromatic compound, and it's electrophilic substitution. So let's say electrophilic aromatic substitution. Alright, so the nitration of benzene is a pretty simple mechanism. So the first thing that we will need to do. All right, so let's represent it with an equation first. All right, so benzene. We will have benzene. We will generate our nuclear file. In this case, it's the nitronium ion. All right, and we will get nitrobenzene. This reaction it uses sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid. That is how we are going to generate our electrophile, which is the nitronium ion. Alright? So it's basically benzene. The presence of sulfuric acid and nitric acid, temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius, you will get nitrobenzene. So if you want to convert benzene to nitrobenzene, concentrated sulfuric acid, that's the catalyst. You use the nitric acid to generate the electrophile, which is the nitronium ion, and the temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius. All right? So let's do the mechanism now. So the first thing that we need to do is to generate our electrophile. So for that we react nitric acid. With sulfuric acid. And we get our electrophile, which is the nitronium ion. Alright, so when you we react nitric acid with sulfuric acid to get our electrophile, the nitronium ion. Alright, so that's what we will do first, generate our electrophile so now it's time for the mechanism so step one so when when the new when the electrophile approaches the Benzene ring, we know that the pi electrons can attack any nucleophile, any electrophile, right? Because we know that pi bonds, they have the p orbitals with the lone pair of electrons. And once you have a lone pair of electrons, you can form a dative covalent bond. So two electrons are going to be donated to the nitronium ion. So we need to draw a curve. Arrow. So remember, we use a curved arrow 
to show the movement of two electrons. So we are moving the two pi electrons to form a bond with the nitronium ion. That is where the double bond is going to be broken because double bond consists of sigma bonds and pi bonds. The electrons in the pi bond, that is what is going to be used to form the bond with the nitronium ion. So we will no longer have a double bond at this one. So remember, as I will show you in part one of this series, right? Once this bond is broken, this carbon only has three bonds, so it will get the positive charge. So in step one, the pi electrons attack the nitronium ion. Right. So the movement of electrons from the pi bond to the nitronium ion. Right. And then we get the benzene ring or the uranium ion because it has a positive charge. Alright. So you can put to form the uranium ion. Alright. So that's what happens first. Now you could show the resonance structure, but you don't have to do that for okay, it. Alright? If you pursue it further on, then you show it. Alright? So the pi bonds, one of the pi bonds, you can use any one by the way, this or this, it doesn't matter. One of them attacks the electrophile and they show it here. The bond is broken. This carbon, it only has three bonds, remember, one bond from the hydrogen, right? So that is why it is positive. And then in step two, let's draw about this. So sulfuric acid is a catalyst, right, in this reaction. And a catalyst, when you choose it, one of the features of a catalyst is that you must generate it at the end of the reaction. So HSO4, right? Then one of the lone pairs on the oxygen atom is going to remove the hydrogen from this carbon. So the carbon, so the hydrogen that is attached to the carbon with the NO2 group, it is going to be removed. And so the two electrons, remember every bond has two electrons. This bond is not being broken homolytically because two electrons were donated to this hydrogen atom. So it means that hydrogen is not taking any of the electrons. So the two electrons in this bond are used to restore the double bond in the benzene ring. And of 
course, we get back sulfuric acid. So a hydrogen ion is removed, right? And the double bonds are faced back into the ring. Well, the electrons return to the ring to form the double bond here. So that is how benzene regains its stability. So remember the reason why benzene is doing substitution is because it wants to maintain its stability and it is stable when it has its pi system, which is the three pi bonds present. All right, so the equation is pretty simple. You just write the equation to generate the nitronium ion. And again, for K, you don't need to draw the structure of the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid and show all of that. When you go to university, then that will come into play. All right. So that's the equation you will generate your electrophile. You know that one of the pi bonds will attack the electrophile. And so now the electrophile is attached to the ring. One of the carbon is positive. In the second step, the hydrogen is removed and the electrons are returned to the ring. So we get but the double bond. And that is electrophilic aromatic substitution specifically nitration of benzene.